Hi, this is Michelle from Pixels and Twine, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the differences between two of my digital planners for 2023. Now, if you've already had a look at the store, you may have seen these two different designs and wondered what the difference was. And the main difference between the two of them is the layout for the week view and the day view. You will also receive a different sticker pack with each, and that's in line with those different layouts in the week and day view. Okay, now before we go into the detail of that, I should say you can also find a full detailed walkthrough of this particular planner here with the pink and yellow gradient cover um, and I will pop a link to that in the description below. When you're watching that, you will see everything in detail. So you will see everything that's included in the index, the goals planner section, which is about 16 pages, the different paper types and colors, and then all of these different templates. You'll have a look at the eight different note sections that come extra with it. Um, it'll go in detail on the year planner, um, and the different quarterly planners that are included in there and the key dates planner. Uh, you'll also have a more detailed look uh, under each of the months at your month in focus, wellness, budget, and month in review sections. Okay, so all of those elements, which you can see a lot slower than that, uh, and in more detail in that other video, are included in both of these planners, okay? So the difference is, you'll have a little bit of difference in terms of color scheme, but other than that, the key difference lies in the week and day layouts and the sticker pack. So let's take a look at that. So with this planner, so the pink and yellow cover, this is more of a, I would call it the complete planner because all of the layouts are finished for you, just waiting for you to fill out the details. In the other planner, um, we have some blank areas for you to build your part of your own template. So this planner here to start with, let's jump through to the month and to the week. Okay, so in this week view, you can see it's a complete planner. I've already used some of the stickers from the sticker pack that comes with this planner just to decorate. So you can see they're more checklist and sticky notes and um, bullets and tabs and word stickers. Okay, so they're more decorative. Let's just jump to a blank version of this page so you can see it clearly. Okay, so on your week layout in this planner, you have seven days and then in the right column, you have your focus for the week, a checklist, a note section and a habit tracker. Let's jump to the day view. In the day view, and again, I've decorated this up with some stickers from the sticker pack, but you can see if I jump to a blank, you have your top three priorities for the day, your checklist, a note section, and in the right column, you have a little tracker, your hourly planner, self-care, and meal planner. Right, so that is, this is the more, the complete planner with everything in place, ready for you to go, and you have that more decorative sticker pack. By comparison, the planner with the striped cover, this is more customizable. So if you are someone who never really has the same day, um, you know, every consecutive day, if you have very different weeks, then this might be more for you because you're going to be able to have more control over your layouts for your week and day. Let's take a look. So if I jump to the month and then over to a week, so in this week view, you can see I've used some of the stickers from the functional widgets um, planner uh, sticker pack that comes with this planner. Okay, and they are more functional. So they're more prompts. So things like you've got little week trackers, um, you've got your goals, um, different layouts that you can use for budget and tallying expenses and so forth. Okay, so let's have a look at a blank. So you have your seven days of the week. And then you have a, basically a note section with just a faint grid. So you can use that note grid just to take notes or you can use it to help you align some of the stickers. Let's take a look at the day now. Okay, so in your day layout, and again, there's a few um, of the stickers from the functional sticker pack. Let's look at a blank. So you have your... Um, top three priorities for the day, your tracker and your hourly planner. And then again, you have that note grid on the right side. So we'll have a look at the different stickers that you can put in there. 
If you're a GoodNotes user, you can download and import these stickers within a GoodNotes sticker book. Uh, for everyone else using different apps like Notability and NoteShelf, you'll be able to download the PNG files and use those as is appropriate to your particular app. Right, so you have all of these functional stickers. Um, you have a set that comes in seven different colors. And then I have some pre-made half page widgets for different day and week views. Let's take a look at the colorful stickers to start with. So I'm gonna jump through to the stone ones. So you have different squares. So you can see you have everything from 30 day challenges. You have little sticky notes, meetings, um, time schedules, and habit trackers or different trackers and so forth. So a lot of variety there. Um, you have the squares. These are one to two ratio rectangles, so they will align nicely within those grids. Okay, and then some verticals, icons and bullets, and then a bunch of different labels and stickers that you can use in the week and day and month layouts and also your annuals. Okay, and more labels there. Okay, so you have those in the uh, seven different colors. So that's the plum, a gradient, green, charcoal, blush pink. And then these ones are white and I've just put them onto a darker background to be able it to be easier to see. So you have all of those stickers in each of those seven colors. And then we will come to the day and week widgets. So I'm just gonna go into edit mode and into picture so you can see. So that is the sticker. It's one complete sticker with um, a, a bunch of different options for you on there. So you can flip through all of these options. So these I think would suit a day plan better. Um, so all of these different layouts, you can choose the one that best suits you and copy and paste it onto the page. Okay, and then in your weeks, so again, there's just, there's two stickers on each of these pages. Okay, so different styles for different needs, depending on what type of week you're having. So you'll just go through and choose whichever works for you. I'm going to grab this one here. Okay, and so just select it, copy it, jump back over to, I'm on a day view there, I'll go to a week, I'll go to a blank week actually. Okay, and paste and then pop that in place. You can of course resize if you need to. Okay, and pop that there as you need to. Okay, one little tip for you, when you start working with stickers and text and text boxes or handwriting and text boxes, you might come into trouble if you're not familiar with some of the customize, um, customizable options on making selections. So if I had written a couple of things there, not very intelligent, but there we go. Um, if I wanted to move um, some of that text, if I wanted to move hello to below there, if I made that selection, as I move it, I'm moving the sticker and the, the handwriting. You can go into your lasso tool by ticking on it, clicking on it, and turning off images. So don't select that sticker image. So again, if I come in here now and select, now I'm just moving the handwriting by itself. So just go in and have a look at what turning on and off each of those options does for you, um, particularly when you come to working with multiple elements that are all layered on top of each other. The other element, the other thing which is a really handy tip, I think, for when you start to work with things like multiple widgets or multiple stickers, is that you can actually create, if you're a GoodNotes user, you can create an element. So if you're not familiar with elements, they're like a, a collection of stickers uh, you, where you can load your stickers into the GoodNotes elements um, function. Okay, so here I have a group of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six stickers that I've popped there into an arrangement that I like. And that's a layout that I think I'm gonna use quite commonly. So rather than having to copy and paste them or um, move them into position each time, what you can do is do one layout, select them with your lasso tool and tap and say, add element. What you can do then is add them into uh, one of your um, element folders that you've collected, that you've created, one of your element collections, I should say, okay? Then, you know, when you come to your week view, you can click 
on your elements, go to that particular group. I've got it in there twice now because I already had it in there and just tap. That's now one element just ready for you to position on each page. So that's a really nice way to be able to go through, have a look at what's in the sticker book, put together some things that work for you and um, save them up there as an element. Now, if you're not using GoodNotes, the other place you can you, you can pop those is into the Extras tab. That Extras tab is there for you to do whatever you like with. I popped it into my planners originally because I liked to put stickers that I used commonly rather than having to go back to my sticker book every time. Um, that's particularly handy if, you're, if your iPad's getting a bit old and maybe running a bit slow. Um, so yeah, you can use that extra section to pop them in there if you're not using good notes and don't have access to a function like Elements. Anyway, that's the difference between those two planners. So you'll get a different sticker set with each and you will have a different layout for your week view and your day view. For a more detailed look at what's included uh, in each of those top tabs and within your months and your year planners, be sure to have a look at the other video that I'll link below as well. Anyway, if you have any questions, pop me a message through my Etsy store. And um, other than that, happy planning.